Hey, what's up guys? Uh, thank you very much for watching Electrica. Uh, this is a cut-out fuse, okay? Uh, but it's called a cut-re fuse, but best known as a cut-out. And the reason why it's called a cut-out, it's because uh, utility companies, uh, it's, they use it to protect your installation, your whole installation, but also it is easy for them to cut power from you without, you know, removing a cable from the pole. Okay, so they simply just, you know, uh, remove this fuse that they go with it. Okay, then maybe when you settle your dues, they will just simply put it back. Okay, so uh, these things normally, uh, it's still the utility company that he supply them or they give it to you. But uh, uh, also these days, if you're going to use it for some other purposes, for example, uh, people who, you know, uh, run machines, okay, uh, heavy machines that they probably don't use MCCB, they use this so you can find them still on the shop, they are being sold, but sometimes they are really rare, okay. Uh, now, this is the fuse itself, so in here you find uh, a cartridge, we will get inside at a moment, so we have this base here, this is where your cable uh, comes in. Now, right here, uh, you're seeing red. So it should be in this position, you're seeing red. Right here, it's where your incoming cable comes in from, okay? So from your pole, the cable will enter from here, okay? Uh, and it will be hot, all right? Then down here, it's where you connect uh, that cable to uh, perhaps to either your consumer unit yeah it should be your consumer unit if it's a single phase okay uh, all right then uh, if you look in here you find that we have got two contacts right there uh, so it's just linked just the, the same block the block is one but you have two holes here so you can use this as a link uh, a link for example if there is another circuit you want to supply and you still want to give it uh, this so you will just put a wire here, another wire, and then you loop over. So even the output also just got two, but you can either use one or you can also use this one, yeah, whichever way, okay? So this, it must be anchored uh, either in the box uh, or uh, on the wall, so long as it is enclosed, okay? And uh, then... The fuse itself, you see, it is uh, rated at uh, 60, oh, basically 8 amps, 415 volts. Uh, so what simply this means is that 8 amps, that should be the maximum current, uh, should be the maximum current that uh, this thing, you know, uh, should carry, okay? Uh, in most cases, much as, you know, your, your house cannot, you know, use uh, up to this uh, up to this amount of current but uh, this is what you get in most cases so that's why this rating doesn't doesn't necessarily mean that that's the current demand that you have in your house but it's the maximum that this thing can you know carry okay so let's look at uh, this fuse here so basically, it looks like this. These are two legs uh, where you have a fuse as a link uh, here. So, so your incoming cable right here, and then you have your first leg connected here, and then the leg link to the next leg, and then it's connected to, the, to this load. Okay, that's how you get your 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 power this side. Okay. So let us check this fuse here. So uh, this is how your fuse will look like. So this is how your fuse looks like, okay? And uh, they have also uh, written the rating of the fuse, uh, voltage plus current, okay? Yeah, and then, and then the number.
Okay, uh, now if you look this, the body here, this middle uh, part, it is, it is ceramic, okay? Uh, it is ceramic and then the conductive, the conducting part is these two. Yeah, so it, we have got inside here a link, a wire, a fuse wire that links from here up to here. So when your fuse perhaps drew uh, a, a lot of current more than this, more than it can take, normally it, it, it will blow. So once it blows, you cannot fix this. You will just have to, you know, to throw it away and buy another one. But some other people, you find that they link, they link manually, they get a wire, they, uh, they connect here and here, or simply, they just short these two. But uh, sometimes that's quite dangerous because uh, a layman, uh, it's very difficult for you to, you know, to measure a proper, to get a wire with a proper measurements uh, of current uh, to be connected or to be used as a, a link, it's really very dangerous because in, the, in an event of a fault, uh, that fuse won't be able to break because perhaps maybe uh, you sized a very big wire uh, for that demand. Okay, so it's very better uh, for you to always go and buy, uh, replace uh, the same fuse like this. Okay, uh, the other thing is that. Uh, you always have to make sure that uh, this is tight, okay? You always have to make sure that it is tight, really, really tight. If it's not, then you have to find a way uh, to, to press it. It shouldn't play uh, like this because if it does, then you, it will always um, spark in here and then it will eventually either burn this and it will be drawing you know much current it can even you know cause your you know your your your, your power bill to go up okay so you must make sure if you intend to put it by yourself you have to make sure that uh, it is really uh, very firm okay so uh, whenever I put here you must make sure that these jaws are balanced well uh, and they fit in well in here Eh? Like when you put, you feel that uh, it's very firm, okay? Uh, very firm, such that it doesn't, uh, you know, make those arcs. Because if if it's not firm, uh, the loose connection can always cause problems, okay? Uh, okay, uh, all right. Uh, so uh, that has been it uh, as far as uh, cartridge uh, fuels are concerned, as far as these cutouts are concerned. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you have any question, please put it right in the comment below and uh, I'll be glad to answer uh, that question. Until next time, have a great one.